Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to buy a pair of insulated bib overalls. Sizing, understanding your body type, and just how you can make the best decision whether you buy them online or from your local retailer. So for demonstration purposes today, I will be using a pair of Carhartt R41 bibs, which is the newer bib with the zipper front pocket and the zippers that run all the way up to the hip. It's the red lined insulation. It's not the heaviest, it's not the lightest, but it is right in the middle and it is a really good bib overall. So there are some key issues when it comes to understanding how to buy a pair of insulated overalls for you, whether it be online or whether it be from your local retailer and one is coming to terms with who you are and your body size and type. Now as guys, we don't really need to know that stuff. We just buy things that fit. We grab something, we put it on, it stays on, we're happy. When it comes to buying something that you're gonna depend on as a tool, and that's really what insulated bibs turn out to be. If you gotta work out in the cold, the bib becomes more of a tool and less of a piece of clothing. Here are the key fundamental things is you have to understand your waist and your length. It's good to know how big you are up top, but that really only comes into play when you're buying a coverall. And for most situations, unless you're stuck inside a machine where there is no heat and there's no chance of you warming up, you really don't need a coverall. So if you're a skinny guy and you buy a size 32, 32 in jeans, okay? More than likely you don't got a gut. More than likely you ain't got an ass. You've got little skinny thighs and chicken legs. So you're gonna be able to buy something that's closer to your size. You could probably walk in and just say, give me a 36, 32 right off the shelf and it's gonna fit you fine. No math needed, no real you know, calculations needed on how it's gonna fit and what's gonna work for you. And that's fine. That's a real easy concept. But for those of us that are built more like Vikings or linebackers, Buying a pair of bivolarals could be a real pain in the ass. I mean, to break it all down, if you don't understand how a bib works as a garment, it just doesn't make any sense. So here's some simple facts. Here's some simple ideas to help you make a better purchase online or from your local retailer. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your jeans. You wanna look at the size inside your jeans. Now, if you're wearing, let's say a size 42 by 30 jean, all right? and you got a gut that hangs over your jeans, then you're not gonna buy a 46 by 30 bib overalls because your belly is actually bigger than that. So what you wanna do is you wanna measure around the biggest part of your belly. Take the inseam that you have inside your jeans because more than likely it's gonna be perfect. If you're wearing a 42, 30 jean, you'll be able to buy a 50 by 30 bib without a problem. Now, as you see, what I did there, I added four sizes to that measurement, depending on you know the size of your belly. When you figure out what that measurement is around you there, then you wanna add two to four sizes, depending on how much you're gonna be moving around in these things. If you're a laborer and you gotta run up and down scaffold or you gotta move stuff around, you're gonna want your bibs to be really comfortable. So you're gonna wanna go between two and three to four sizes bigger in the middle section. That's the first number. That's usually the bigger number that doesn't fall into 30s. The 30s, 32, 34, 36, those are usually the lengths of bibs. Don't really worry about that. Just follow the one that your pants have. It's understanding the waist measurement. The other thing that's really important about buying a pair of bibs and understanding that, when you put them on, you're comfortable. Now, most guys, they don't want to admit the fact that they could use a size or two bigger. And so with the buttons on the side, they just leave them open. By leaving the buttons unbuttoned, what that does is that actually adds a lot of stress to the garment itself. And when you bend down, you're actually raising the garment right into your nuts, which is not a good feeling. There is nothing nice about having a piece of clothing that grabs you every time you gotta bend down to pick something up. So if you buy them a bit bigger and you can button the sides, when you do bend down, you're not gonna get... Now if you're really wondering about the medium, large, and extra large sizes, usually they're basing those sizes off chest sizes when it comes to bibs. And those types of bib overalls, well, that's something that you're gonna pick up at your local Home Depot or something, or Menards, or just any big box store. In my personal opinion, avoid them. 
There's no reason to buy something twice in a season. There's no reason to buy something and have to replace it halfway through. You know, they have it fall apart in February and you still got March and April left that you know it's going to be cold, wet, and nasty outside. You want to have something that you can depend on. So spend a little bit more on the bib overall. If you buy a good bib overall, like a Carhartt, you know that all your seams and everything is reinforced. So at the end of the season, what you're going to be doing is taking them to the dry cleaners, having them dry cleaned, putting them in the closet till, till you need them next year. And you could easily get five to 10 years out of a pair of bibs, depending on how rough you are. Now I know guys that only get three years out of a pair, but they're animals, they're beasts. They destroy everything. They go through four or five pairs of boots a year. So why wouldn't they destroy a pair of Carhartts in two or three seasons? So I hope you found this kind of helpful. I hope this helps you make better decisions. And remember, if you're about to buy a pair and you're just on the fence, you can't decide, just shoot me over an email. Hey, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for me. It really helps out. And remember, any questions about buying bibs, about buying Carhartt, about buying anything for work, whether it's boots or clothing going into winter. If you need any suggestions about long underwear or gloves or any of that stuff, and you just want some advice, you just want some want me to point you in the right direction, shoot me over an email. Until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.